and welcome back it's Holly here and today I'm really excited because today I'm actually going to be going to see the future. Oh, the future. So right now I'm about to get ready to go so let's go get ready. put it into a plait or something but I'm also going to take a jacket because it's going to be cold but getting there <laughs> at the moment I'm wearing this gorgeous little give me a second I'm wearing this gorgeous Leo bodysuit kind of thing gorgeous I'm wearing a skirt I've got this nice jacket and I've I'm gonna take a bag at the moment. I don't know what the bag. No. It's not exactly the nicest bag, you know. Let me go get one. Okay. Alright, so I'm taking this little purse bag thing. Because I'm just taking my phone really. And yeah, that's about it. So I gotta get the another shoe jackman tickets. Alright, I'll be back with you guys. Alright, we are. <laughs> Continue for seven <laughs> kilometers. All right, we are in the car and we're heading off to the RAC Arena. Will I say hi? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to see Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine. He's <laughs> lost a bit of his muscles apparently. <laughs> apparently, you can't maintain. The <laughs> yeah. You can't swear, Mum. Oh, sorry. Can't maintain that. Get censored. <laughs> be a bit late. No, you, no, you just go back and beep it. You funny little duck. I have glitter. And we're here. We're in the car. Just parked. And now we're gonna walk to the arena. Right.
You've been searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. Burying your bones as a need that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, stealing your mind, and all that is real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running. It's so it is, moment, don't get one to tatter. Y'all feel the dream, can't you see? Getting closer. Just surrender, cause you feel the bill and take it off. Thing, like when your agent calls and says, Hugh, can you tricycle on a highway? Oh yeah, love it, done it my whole life, yeah. Can you jump out of a plane? Love jumping out of a plane, yeah. Can you uh, audition for a musical even though you've never sung before? Of course. And he got it. And I, listen, I had four weeks before the audition, so I figured, oh, well, I'll just go and get some singing lessons. How hard can it be, right? Yeah, turned out it's pretty hard, and I was, it was bad, it was ugly, right, until the very final lesson, and I said to my singing teacher, I said, mate, you sing it, right, I'll just copy you, I will literally mimic you, and I did, and he was like, that's it, and I got the part. But we get paid the same, so it sort of evens out. <laughs> dish, dish. So, <laughs> where was I? Oh yeah, being the youngest. Okay, so that is why I'll never ever forget the day of my first game of cricket when I was eight years of age. Um, I played cricket in the backyard, of course, with my brothers, but this was a real game, right? My own team, my own cricket gear, my own cricket uniform. This is my life up to this point, and I'll never forget it. I was on my own. Um, everyone was out either playing sport or being driven to sport or shopping. I can't remember exactly, but I remember being told, be at the end of the driveway at 8.30, another family is gonna pick you up. Your game starts at nine. So. I'm out there waiting at the end of the driveway at like 6.30 and <laughs> you know when you just, you know it's not quite right but you don't want to admit it because uh, you're just so excited so I could feel something's wrong, I was just waiting there such a long time, excuse me, and finally after wait, I mean I, I, I would have said it was three or four hours I was waiting but I didn't even want to go inside and check on the time just in case I was right. But finally I had to go inside and when I went inside, of course, it was 9.30 and I was freaking out because I, I, I thought it was 8.30, the game starts at 9, or maybe it was 9.30, or maybe the phone's been ringing and I haven't heard it, so I started running backwards and forwards from the end of the driveway inside. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere?
to quickly just give a public thank you to the man of the evening uh, for giving me this opportunity to be here in Australia. Huey, I know you can hear me. Thank you very much. You got me. And anyway. <laughs> Hello, Perth. My name is Peter Allen. Have you missed me? Hi girls. Hi everyone. How you doing? Hi up there. Hello all the way up there. How you doing? Good to see you. Just making sure no one's wearing the same thing as me. Hello. <laughs> it's a bit bright, isn't it? It's my Just, I'm making run. sure no one's wearing the same thing as me. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. thinking. Who would be wearing that? Is you're it, thinking. Is, it, is, is he or is it? Is this space man? Is he or is me? <laughs> what are you saying? Well, <laughs> it's true. I am. Australian. <laughs> I'm in a home, yes, I feel so good. I'm a stranger now in my neighborhood. I've seen the world at a faster pace, and I'm trying to do it. There's a few people with hip replacements very jealous right about now. <laughs> By the way, I mean, Brian has played with Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston's mum, but who here, lots of people, but who here grew up watching the Muppets like me? Who here grew up watching? Yes. Who remembers Animal from the Muppets? <laughs> he was Animal. Let's go ahead. Prove it. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. How are you? How are you? It's nice to see you. You were struggling with that. Look. What's that? Did you get it? Did you yes, find it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Very emphatic. Yeah, what's your name? David. Hello, David. It's good to see you. Likewise. You have a lovely smile. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to see you, David. <laughs> That's what, all what's left is that, that hair. That's not too bad, it's okay. <laughs> how old are you, David? Do you mind me asking? Uh, 63. 63, look at you. Sorry, you don't mind me doing this, do you? Let me have a little sip here. <laughs> oh. A little photo of David and I. Oh, wow, how could that? It's nice. So you've got everything. How cold do you think it's going to be in here, David? <laughs> <laughs> is this is good. Look at the sweater on. You got everything on. Look at you, and you got your video done. Oh, look at that old case. I like this old case. I'm sorry, David. I'm very nosy. Do you mind me being nosy? No, that's okay. You really? Go here. Really? Come up here, then, David. Come. Oh, yeah. He's still got his phone. <laughs> David. David, you started to sweat a little bit, haven't you? <laughs> Sorry, you can have that back. I'm actually not that interested in it. <laughs> I'm just, this box here? Yes. Uh, I don't know, David, that no one's ever asked me. What, what do you do for a living? I'm a chef. You're a chef? Yes. Oh. So if you want some food. I, want, I always want food. Do you mind cooking for 12,000 people? Is that okay? <laughs> Let's find out, but you asked me a very good question. What's this box here, guys? Security, you don't know, do you? No, you don't, but Dan might know. Lasers. Oh, lasers. Oh, I have, this is very, very high tech, this show. Feel me, mm. Feel just here, can you feel, can you feel that little? David, you got nice hands there. <laughs> Hang on. There's two like little boxes, little, there they are, feel that? Yeah, now press a little bit harder, that's it. <laughs> so they're lasers, and see those two up there? So wherever I walk, they follow me. Watch this, come with me. See, they're just following me. See, come on, let's see if we can outrun them down See, wherever we go. Where do you work?
Rick as a chef. You haven't been running a lot lately, have you? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't just pull a hamstring or anything, did you? Where do you work as a chef? Uh, in Alice Springs. So I actually work at uh, Woolworths in Alice Springs. Oh, you work at Woolworths in Alice Springs? I love Alice Springs. Yes. And you came all the way here from Alice yes. Springs? Yes, I You are amazing. Thank you for coming. I'm having too much fun with you. Well, I just don't know. What's this going on here? Like, what? <laughs> it looks like you might have walked from Alice Springs and that's... <laughs> I'm very mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you here with? Who's, who's... Uh, my wife, Julie. Hi, Julie. Julie, is he... Is David a dancer? Stay there. She's saying yes. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Is he not a dancer? Not at all. Not at all? No. Never. He's got no rhythm whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> We're going to fix that. <laughs> do you want... What, what, what do you love? Do you like rock and roll? Do you like... like rock and roll. Oh, rock and roll. Let's have a bit of... Like, maybe bad to the bone. <laughs> together for Lara Young who sang I Dreamed a Dream in the end of Act One. I love Perth, you guys. So... It's not a person here tonight in Perth that doesn't have a dream, right? But what goes with dreams are dragons, those dragons that guard the treasure. Well, for me, growing up, one of my dreams was to be in a movie musical one day, right? The dragon was how can a kid from just...